again it's one of my favorite questions it's a beautiful question so i'm going to give you some time try this question and we'll have a go and lovely 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 question i like all kind of questions where you don't need to know anything beforehand there's no prior knowledge required you do this question you can give it to a, a an eight year old nine year old they can try it is tougher for them because they're not comfortable they might not be able to read a 9 91 19 9 1 1 1 9 1 they might not be able to read and grasp numbers that quickly but they don't need to understand ratio and fraction and, and angle bisector and all of that they, they just simply observe the pattern see what is happening and then you are good and so there is some pattern observing that you have to observe and there is some way this is given it took me a while to even understand what the pattern was and so very interesting pattern first one is 9 then 9 1 1 9 9 1 1 1 9 1 1 1 1 9 1 1 9 1 1 9 1 1 9 1 1 9 1 1 9 so that's one digit number two digit numbers three digit numbers then four digit numbers and so on you know we're listing all of these numbers have only nine and one in them okay? and then in three digit numbers if you notice it is nine one 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 nine one 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 nine it's like that nine moves from one digit to another quite brilliantly and so i'm going to write it down slightly differently i start with nine my first number second number nine one third number is one nine and then i have 911 191 119 what happens i have one digit number 9 done second digit number i have 9 and 1 i put 9 and 1 i have the 9 in the first digit it moves to the second digit then i put 911 then starting from the first digit this 9 goes to the second digit then goes to the third digit the four digit number be 9111 1911 1191 one, one, 1119 one, one, now we got a pattern then we'll have five digit numbers six digit numbers seven digit numbers eight digit numbers and so on how many three digit numbers are there three why three because nine could be in the first portion second portion third portion how many four digit numbers will be there four first second third fourth how many 14 digit numbers will be there 14 nine will go from first digit all the way till 14th digit lovely now let's think about this we want to find the 45th term of this sequence are brilliant so and all of these questions i like counting till the end of each row so the first row your one number down second row 1 plus 2 3 how so 1 plus 2 third row 1 plus 2 plus 3 6 1 2 plus 3 plus so end of the third row we have accounted for six numbers this is a sixth number what is this, this is a tenth number why tenth number is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 what will be the last number here that will be 15th number why 15th number 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 lovely now i'm going to jump i've got the method so at the end of row 1 i mean the first number end of row 2 i'm at number 3 end of number 3 end of row 3 6 row 4 10 row 5 15 end of row 6 21 end of row 7 28 what am i doing this plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 these numbers are called something 1 3 6 10 15 21 28 they are called something i wanted to find out what they are called and so what are they what are they called find out find out row 8 36 i keep on doing like this somewhere i should be able to get to the 45 end of row 9 45 uh, lovely we've got 45 straight away plus 8 plus 9 or the row row 9 ends with the 45th number okay. row 9 is all a bunch of nine digit numbers all having only nine ones only one nine several ones remaining all ones and what does it start with it starts with the nine in the first position Then how will row nine be? We'll start with nine, one 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 one. Then we'll have one nine, one 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 one. The nine keeps on moving. We're talking about the last number in the ninth row. Where will it be? Quite easy. Nine one, sorry, eight ones, and then ending with a nine. It's a nine-digit number. and the 9 has gone all the way from the first portion to the last portion 
you're worried about the 45th digit which will happen to be the 45th number which will happen to be the last number in the ninth row or the last number in the ninth row which has only one nine and eight ones so the nine has to be in the last place units place so there's eight ones ending with a nine beautiful question you don't need to know any funda they do it methodically these numbers you should be able to pick they're called something i want you to find out what they are called what is the name of numbers like 1 3 6 10 15 21 28 36 45 55 those numbers how do you find them is there a formula to it is there a very interesting way of remembering the formula uh, what what is the, the specific title given to those numbers i want you to find all of that because this number has got to be your friend this set of numbers if you see a 45 you should know the sum of all numbers from 1 to 9 the more comfortable you get with that simpler exams like this is going to become so you're going to learn funda approaches but you've got to get your mind to become friendly with numbers you should be able to say oh 81 81 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 729 i know that 9 cube i know that 343 that is 7 into 7 into 7 1024 that is 2 multiplied with itself 10 times these numbers should hold more significance but you're going to see them more frequently utterly frequently whenever you take exams so keep that in mind beautiful question eight ones and a nine that's what it ends with